This is Vanessa Franz-Calgo and welcome to our new episode. Now, are you ready to learn something new? I bet you are. Let's get it started. Change is the only thing permanent in this world, as given by the great Greek philosopher Heraclitus. Every technological invention brings a change in society. From a simple watch to supercomputers, we bring you into the bright side. First, the innovations and technological advances help us move forward when it comes to the advancement of education. These innovations help students with easy access to information, accelerate learning, and other practices that can help us foster collaboration and a better communication. During these innovations, classes can now be easily executed even with just a few clicks. Since technological advances has helped us create a way for a faster communication, especially in the field of data retrieval and information sharing. The impact of technology has made on our ability to contact one another is obvious, such as mails, telegrams, phone calls, emails, texts, and others. However, technology has also made it possible to share content with similar East. Computers and smartphones can store photos, videos, and any types of documents. Third, the innovations and technological advances has helped us reach new and multiple audiences. Advertisements has been widely used to influence someone's decision, may it be to promote or sell products, persuade people, and prove things. Prior to the information age, advertising is done through word of mouth, flyers, magazines, newspapers, and televisions. Last but not the least, when it comes to information, the more the merrier. These innovations and technological advances in the information age has also helped people boost their business. Business strategies have evolved and improved greatly as a result of these advancements. A great example of this is advertisements. It helped them drastically increase sales of their products and services, leading them to a successful life. Upon years yelled for innovations and technological advancement, Disseminating, acquiring, and manipulating information has never been convenient as of these days than those in the ancient times. Numerous of advantages has taken place, advancing humanity and its daily lives to another level of comfort. In conclusion, this innovation and technological advancement pioneered and molded by our predecessors have greatly influenced our lives today. This shaped and illustrates humanity's comfort, convenience, and access in dealing with things we choose to succeed. Wait, wait, wait. Yup, we are not done yet. Well, after digging into a bunch of research, we've come up with this 10 rules or guidelines in using the different media of information to ensure that humanity will reap the rewards of it. What are we waiting for? Let's get to know what these rules are then. Rule number one, remember the human. Through technology, it is no longer necessary to be physically present to initiate an interaction. As convenient as it is, it also creates a barrier between people which makes communication difficult. Even with emoticons and emojis, electronic devices still fail to convey messages like face-to-face -face conversations. Remembering that the recipient on the other side of the computer or cell phone is another person is important to avoid hurting the other person's feelings. Rule number two, adhere to the same standards of behavior online that one follows in real life. When the cat goes away, the mouse comes out to play. This is perhaps the simplest anecdote that describes human nature's approach to obeying rules. In real life, actions have consequences something that is wise to remember in cyberspace. Good netiquette comes from the same standards that are set in real life. If your online behavior doesn't suit her, 
it's a good idea to reevaluate your actions. Rule number three, know where you are in cyberspace. The virtual world can be as large as real space. With the amount of information and wide reach of online users, the visions will inevitably emerge depending on the domain. Acceptable behavior varies based on the domain you're in. If posting daily accounts of your life is acceptable in the blogging domain, the kit is not suitable for academics. Knowing where you are online helps practice good etiquette. Rule number four, respect other people's time and bandwidth. Between school and work, social life, homework, tasks to be completed, and protecting one's health, 24 hours seems to be no longer enough. It is important to make sure you don't waste it by providing unreasonable or unsolicited information. Bandwidth is the information carrying capacity of the cables and channels that connects everyone in cyberspace. This is why spamming, apart from being liked, is a bad netiquette. Rule number five, make oneself look good online. People generally have natural desire to connect. Even on social media platforms, getting different likes on posts or hearts on photo can definitely make anyone's day. Making a good impression online means looking like a good, smart, and complete individual through what you write. Rule number six, share expert knowledge. Both the great and terrible beauty of new media lies in its information crowdsourcing. Anyone with access to the internet can share data and information to the world. While this raises credibility issues among many data found online, it also increases the number of accurate facts contributed by experts. Experts contributing valuable information and making them available to many is indeed a positive effect of the media and information age. Rule number seven, help keep flame wars under control what people do when they express a strongly held opinion without holding back any emotions. One good example would be sharing strong political views through social media platforms. Since not everyone shares the same beliefs and supports the same parties, the conflict between differing groups arises. This is called flame wars. Keep in mind that having the right to speech and expression does not give anyone the right to crucify others with a different views. Opinions can always be expressed online, but in the end, everyone just has to agree or to disagree. Rule number eight, respecting other people's privacy. People's addiction to social media has put everyone's life under the microscope. Even so, privacy remains a right that must be asserted. Private emails should be treated like regular emails only to be read by the intended person. No one should access other people's social media profiles without their consent. Allow anyone to choose what information to share and with whom to share online. Respecting other people's privacy isn't just good netiquette, it's everyone's responsibility. Rule number 9. Don't abuse one's own power. The cyberspace requires experts to be further developed and constantly maintained. These experts have more power than any regular consumer. Bottom line, is if one has given some authority over online network, he or she must not use it out of the context of one's own job. Power, even if it is as small as being entrusted with a Facebook password, must not be abused. Rule number 10. Be forgiving of other people's mistakes. No terrorists have been spoken, then there is nobody is perfect. It is true that people make mistakes even online, so forgive the mistakes of others, and by doing it, you're not only showing good manners, but also good basic education. So that's it! We have now come to an end in the evolution of technology. As we all know, technology is ever-evolving regardless of the current market conditions. New technologies are emerging with groundbreaking innovations to tackle world issues, and it must be strange that predictions are being made about the future technology in these uncertain times. But here's the fun and the most important part. These innovations will make our life easier in the coming years. Without information, knowledge, and discoveries from the past 
we wouldn't be here where we are today. That past has shaped our present and will continue to shape our future. Thank you for being here. Watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay safe.